Like I said, girl, I got you. So I'm going to show you how to make your 23rd birthday pink drink. We're making a shimmery cotton candy lemonade. So you're obviously going to need the lemons for your lemonade and you're going to squeeze the juice. Don't blend it because we don't want to mess with the colors at all. We want it to be as pink as possible. You're just going to add your sugar, your water to make your lemonade. For the cotton candy, you're going to use snow cone cotton candy syrup. Now for sweetness, you can follow the recommendations on the back or literally just taste your water. We're also going to use our pink pigments and some edible glitter. You can find them at the baking section at any craft store. The reason to the pigments is because we want it to be nice and pink and we want it to be nice and shiny because you already know I am extra and garnish never stops. Plus, it's your birthday and you want your drink to be extra cute just like you. I'm going to give the cotton candies and the shimmer a quick little mix then combine it with the lemonade. Add as much water as you think is necessary. Give it a quick mix and this is the perfect time for you to check for sweetness. If it needs more sugar, add more sugar. If it's too sweet, just add more water. Now, you know we're not stopping there. To garnish our cup, we're going to give it a nice little rim drop with some lemon and we dip it in some nice shiny shimmery sugar and we fill up our favorite cup with ice add some extra lemons in there and then we pour ourselves our delicious and refreshing cotton candy lemonade now this is the part where you decide if you want to add that happy juice then you can i would suggest some tequila and maybe some fruity liqueurs you know to make you feel like you're in the beach or something but anyways girl don't listen to me you do what you want it's your 23rd birthday so hope you like this recipe bye Let me show you guys how I made my first home-cooked meal in a very, very long time. I've been eating out maruchanas and air for the past couple of days because life has been punching and kicking me left to right. But I can finally breathe again, so today I decided to make chicken flautas, ahogadas, and consomme. For the filling, we're going to cook our chicken, mix it with potatoes, cheese, and mix into a paste. For your tortillas, you need corn tortillas. And let me tell you, if you don't warm up the tortillas all the way through, when you roll, they're going to crack. So I'm telling you, you need to warm up your tortillas through. Okay, stick them in the microwave for about a minute or two. I don't know. I don't know how your microwave works. As soon as they come out, you see that steam? It is not cold. But you're going to put your big girl panties on, separate those tortillas because they will stick. I'm just going to fill up the tortillas with our filling, roll them up. Sometimes you guys ask me, what's the difference between a taco dorado and a flauta? Okay, let me tell you. This is a taco dorado or a fried taco. This right here is a flauta. I'm just going to take them to the oil, steam side down so they can get non synchronous to be on both sides. As I'm frying and draining, multitasking, we're going to make the consomme. Using the same chicken broth we used to cook our chicken we're gonna add some tomatillos and jalapenos to my blender i'm gonna add some cilantro garlic cloves the tomatillos and jalapenos and some other shit that i found in the fridge season it up with whatever seasoning you got and some chicken bouillon then we blend it up using that chicken broth i did have a little bit of chicken broth left and i don't want to throw it away so i'm just gonna pour everything into the chicken broth even though it looks runny because some it's supposed to be runny and honestly that's the last of my worries so i'm just gonna add some cornstarch to thicken it up a bit then to serve them we're gonna serve them in a bowl because we are going to drench our flautas with that consomme that's why they're called flautas hogadas or drowned flautas just add all the toppings necessary if you want your breath to be nice and stinky add some onion too i didn't have any but i did have an ugly avocado anyways that was dinner and hope you like this recipe bye Let me show you guys how I made my mango strawberry nada. I don't even know what this is called. Let's begin by making the mango nada part. So you're going to need some frozen mangoes. I'm also going to add the juice of one lime and we're going to blend with mango humix or any mango nectar. Sweeten it up with a little bit of sugar and then you're going to add some tahini. I didn't have any so I just added some mango powder. Then you blend it up until it becomes a thick smoothie. I had already dripped chamoy all over my cup and I put it in the freezer so it can freeze. Rim your cup with a little bit of rim dip and then coat it with some tahini or in my case mango powder. Then you pour Pour it into your cup. Now, at this point, you can leave it and then it's just going to be a simple mangonada, but you already know I am not simple. I'm going to add some frozen strawberries to my blender, make a huge mess with some strawberry humix, and then sweeten it up with a little bit of sugar. Blend everything together and then until it becomes a little thicker than mine, and then you pour it into your cup. Now, we're just going to top it off with some fresh chopped mangoes and strawberries, and then we're going to drizzle it with more chamoy. Sprinkle with a little bit more tahini, or in my case, some mango powder. These strings are meant to be extra. They're meant to have all kinds of toppings and candies and everything, so do what you got to do. But that's it, guys. Hope you like this recipe. Bye! Let me show you guys how I make my green aguachiles. To the molcajete, I'm going to add about four garlic cloves, salt, a peppercorns, and some ghost pepper. I'm only going to do half a ghost pepper because even though it's supposed to be spicy, I still want them to enjoy it. I'm going to grind everything together until it becomes a paste. Then I add some soy sauce, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, and lots of lime juice. Now we're just going to prep our shrimpies so we can throw them in the pool. We're going to split the shrimp all the way to the bottom, removing the poop. Whether you want to admit it or not, poop digestive tract, I don't give a damn. It is freaking gross 
just remove it. Anyways, now that all your shrimps have been depooed, now they're invited to the pool. Shrimps need to get fully submerged with lime juice in order for them to cook. Just pop them in my fridge for about 30 to 45 minutes so they can be completely cooked. Meanwhile, for the sauce, I'm going to add two serranos, a half of a cucumber, half a handful of cilantro, an habanero, and a garlic clove. Then I use enough lime juice to blend everything together. Pour the green sauce into our shrimps, add some purple onion, some cucumber, and mix. And it's ready. Now all you have to do is decorate. Now if you haven't had agua chile with mango, then you're missing out in life. So I'm just going to add some cucumber, mango, and pineapple wedges all around the molcajete and some shrimps that I stuffed with crab and then I wrapped them around in bacon. Added a little bit of avocado and then I sprinkled it with a little bit of tahini. And that's it guys. Hope you like this recipe. Bye! pack today's lunchbox for our friends and followers today we're making them some hawaiian barbecue we're gonna begin by making the marinade to our huli huli chicken to a bowl you're going to add some brown sugar pineapple juice ketchup soy sauce garlic ginger and some green onions we're gonna mix everything together and that's gonna be the marinade here i have some boneless skinless chicken thighs that i'm just gonna clean up a bit pour the marinade in here and let that marinade overnight now i am gonna grill my chicken on my stovetop grill because i'm too damn lazy to wash the one outside i don't care just make sure you add some butter to your chicken I'm not only gonna make the huli huli chicken, I'm also gonna make them chicken katsu. And guys, I am so sorry if I'm butchering up the words. I really tried, I googled and everything. But anyways, I dipped my chicken into some egg and then I pressed really hard in some panko. Then I fry it up until it got nice and crispy on both sides. Now it's time to cut up our chicken and start to assemble our plate. I also steamed some veggies and tell me why I forgot to put the veggies. But at least I got a little bit of steamed cabbage. Now we're just gonna plate our chicken, add a little bit of green onion for color, add a hefty amount of some steamed rice and a Hawaiian macaroni salad. I'm also adding a side of huli huli sauce that way they can drench their plate if they want to for their drink they had the option between a soda or a pineapple mango agua fresca and you already know none of them chose the soda but at least they had the option and that's it guys i'm just gonna hurry my ass up get everything ready for them including their drink so they can come and pick up during lunchtime bye Let's pack today's lunchbox for my friends and followers. Now, today I was really debating about posting this video because I screwed everything up. Now, the goal here was to make tri-tip sandwiches, but I F the whole tri-tip up. But I rolled with the punches, so let me show you guys the disaster. I'm going to use some mustard as my binder, like always, and then I'm going to season it up using the Chupacabra Rub brisket seasoning. And I cannot tell you enough not to rub your rub just press on it another thing i don't have a smoker so i was gonna make it in the oven but if you have a problem with that please send me a smoker po is in my bio I had a school meeting this morning and it took longer than i anticipated and i overcooked the brisket i let everyone know that i messed the brisket up and they said not to worry about it to butter up my buns and to start making those sandwiches so i spread some truff mayo all over my buns some pickles some carb counseling in the form of lettuce our shoe i mean our brisket full of cheese you know to camouflage our mistakes some caramelized onions and peppers barbecue sauce and some potatoes i'm telling you man i had plans for this sandwich but anyways we're gonna slap the top bun and by the way these are not sandwiches they're sliders so i don't know what the hell i'm talking about I wrapped it in some parchment paper just so I can cut it in half so you guys can see the inside. But then I did individually wrap them in foil. To go along with their sliders, they're going to get a side of creamy macaroni and cheese. And a side of baked beans so they can be nice and gassy at work. Unfortunately, today I didn't make them an agua fresca, but I still gave them the option between a soda or a punch and not in the throat. And they actually chose both. But that's it, guys. I'm just going to get everything ready for them so they can come and pick up during lunchtime. Bye! Mama made you. Mama's gonna make you snack. Eight. 